Picking up from where we just left off, we had just placed these images on our pages and we're using relative links to do that. So I explained to you how we can navigate up and down the file directory by using the dot dot forward slash or simply just stating the folder and or file name. What we're going to do now is we're going to create links so that from the home page, we can click the bat ray text and go to the bat ray page and then we are going to want to be able to return from the bat ray page back to the index page. So let me show you how we can create links and we're going to be using the relative links. The first thing that I'll do on my index page is I'm going to identify the text that I want to be a link. I'm going to have this text bat ray be a link. So I will open my a tag. I know right away that I'm going to need to add the her ref attribute and then I will just go ahead and make my closing a tag on the other side of the text so bat rays is going to be the clickable link now I want to be able to go to the bat ray page remember I'm on my index page so very similar to what we were doing with the images if I want to navigate to the bat ray page I have to basically say first go to the pages folder and then once you're inside the pages folder, look for the batray.html file. So the href value is simply going to be pages forward slash batray.html. And remember that HTML is case sensitive, so I am using camel casing. I need to make sure I continue to use the camel casing. If I had possibly written this with a lowercase r, in some of the browsers, the link would not work correctly. So make sure that you are matching the case when you are making these items link to and from. If we save this page, and I'll close the Batray page, and so here's my home page. If I click on the link, Batrays, it takes me to the Batray page. Let's go to the Batray page and let's make a link that goes back to the home page. What we'll do here is after the H2, we'll just set up a unordered list with some list items and we will type home. We know right away we want this to be a link, so let me just wrap this inside of my A tag. And in order for this link to take me back to the home page, think about where you're at. We're in the pages folder. We need to get out of the pages folder and go up a level. We basically need to go to the root level. So to do that, I have to do my dot dot forward slash. That takes me up one level. And now I can look for index.html and find in so if we save now and we refresh our bat ray page here is the home link when I click this it takes me back to my home page so at this point I have a website essentially I have two pages they are linking to each other let's continue to build upon this and let's make another page here so we'll go ahead and make our sea lion and seal page I'm going to Start from my bat ray page because this page is going to be very similar. So with my bat ray page selected, I'm going to use file, save as. I will make sure that this page is going to be saved in the pages folder. And I'm just going to call this seals.html. And then let's make the changes. So this is going to say sea life. And then we'll say seals and sea lions. And instead of the H1 saying bat rays, we will just say seals and sea lions. And we'll just say Southern California is home to many pinnipeds. And we, in this case, want to link to the home page. Is the link going to be the same? Well, let's look. We're on the seal page. We need to go up a directory and get into root. And then we need to call index.html. So that will be exactly the same. Let's switch this image out right here. So in the images folder, I have several seal and sea lion pictures. So I'm just going to change this to a seal.jpg and we'll update our alt tag. And in addition to making a link to the home page, I'm going to make another list item. And the list item is going to contain a link. And this link is going to link to the bat ray page. So I will go ahead and type bat rays. We'll close the link. And I am on the seals page. How am I going to get to the bat ray page? So I'm already in the pages folder. There is no need for me to say pages forward slash 
I'm already right here. This is relative. So all I need to do to get to the Batray page is simply say the name of the file, which is batray.html. Let's save this page and let's make some links, additional links so we can get to the various pages. I'll go back to my index page and we already have the link to the bat rays. I'm going to make a link to the sea lion and seals page. And from the index page, I need to go into the pages directory. And then I'm going to access the seals.html page. And even though we don't have the turtle page made, I'm just going to create the link right now. I know that it's going to be in the pages folder and I know that I'm going to call it turtles. So I might as well just cut to the chase and make that right now. So once again, I have to go into the pages folder, forward slash, and then find the page. I just told you I'm going to call it turtle.html. And if we save our home page, that should be good. Let's go to our bat ray page. We have a link to the home. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of more list items here. So I'm going to have a list item and this one is going to actually be We'll leave the word bat ray here just to not cause confusion. We won't make it a link since we're already on the bat ray page. And then we'll make a link that is going to link to our seals and sea lion page. So seals.html. I don't have to go up a level. I'm already on the bat ray page. So I'll just link right to the seals page. And let's close that A tag. And then let me put the text that I want to display. And then finally, we'll make another list item. And this will be for our sea turtle page. And we'll just come back and make that link in a minute. So if I refresh my index page, you can see that now we have links to these additional pages. We already know that going to the bat ray page works and we can return back to the home page. We do have this sea line and seals page. So if we click this, we can visit our sea line and seal page. And from this page, we can go back home. And if I go back to the bat ray page, here's a link to seals and sea lions. If we click that, it takes me to the seal page. If I click my bat ray link, it takes me back to the bat ray page. So the final thing that we have to do is simply build our turtle page. I'm just going to start from my bat ray page and we'll do a file save just to make sure it's saved and then save as and we already established that we're just going to call this page turtle.html here is my turtle page so let's just quickly update the various elements on the page i'll update the title i'm going to update my h1 i'm going to change my h2 and let's just go through and check our links i'm on the turtle page i want to link to the home page is this correct yes I need to go up a level and then find index. Do I need to make a link to the bat ray page? Yes. So I will make a, a tag, add the her ref value. We'll put the equal sign. And then let me just close the a tag on the other side of the text. Then to link to the bat ray page, I'm already on the turtle page. All I have to do is just reach out and grab it. So batray.html should get me there. We already have a link to the seals page. Is this correct? Yes, it should be because again, we're still in the pages folder. And then the sea turtles, I'm on the sea turtle page, so it doesn't really make sense to make that link. Let's update our image right here. So I do have an image called turtle.jpg. My alt tag needs to be updated. And let's just go back and check the other pages. So here's our bat ray page. We need to link out to the sea turtle page, so let's just create that A tag again. Once again, we're using the relative path, so all we have to do is say the name of the file. Don't forget to close the A tag, and that should be good there. Let's check our seal page. So here's our seal page. We have home and bat rays. I need to go ahead and make two more list items. The first one is going to be for my seal and sea lion page. So we know the link is going to be seals.html. I'll close that A tag. And then the text that I want to display is going to say seals and sea lions. And I just realized we're actually on the seal and sea lion page. So this link is redundant. I'm just going to copy this and we'll paste this in. This will be for our, 
our sea turtles. So let's just link to the turtle page. And actually, I don't need the link, right? Because we don't have to have a link. We're already on that page. That is kind of counterintuitive. So if we save that, let's just test our website. Once again, I'm on the bat ray page. If we go to our turtle page, here's our turtle page. I should be able to navigate anywhere else. So if I go to the seals and sea lions, it takes me back. I can go to the turtles. From the turtle page, I can go to the bat rays. From the bat rays, I can go home. So I have what we call a non-linear website, which means that I can link from anywhere to anywhere. I don't have to view this website in a specific predefined order. I can come to the home page and say, I really like seals. I'm going right to the seal page. I don't have to go to bat rays and then to seals. This is a very common method of setting up websites. Almost all websites are non-linear in nature, which means that the user has the ability to choose and only visit the pages that are of interest to them. You can see that Understanding the relative paths is very important, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes quite easy to be able to build a website like this.